Hi, my name is Sarah Hammond. I served at the Foundry Community Church Food Pantry, which is located in my hometown of Escondido, California. The Foundry Food Pantry has served low-income and disadvantaged families since 2014. The Foundry Community Church mission statement is reflecting Jesus in our community, embracing all people, and making disciples. They have binders and binders full of intake forms for each of the beneficiaries of food. When I agreed to volunteer, she asked if I would be willing to scan all of the forms into a scanner, which would then be saved to a thumb drive. She said that they had been wanting to go digital and should have done that from the beginning, and that this would be the biggest help to her at this time. I really wanted to interact with people and work with the food pantry specifically, but I agreed to do whatever was the greatest need, and this is what they needed. Because everything was handwritten, and there were times when I could not read what the names of the beneficiaries were, I would need to go to the director to get clarity on the spelling of the names. We added the case numbers when I typed in the names because there were many duplicate names that were different people. I'm going to be discussing the seven following concepts. At this particular site, I was in a room that contained a scanner, some desks and chairs, and a refrigerator with a sink and cabinet space. The room was a good-sized space with plenty of room to work. There were no social demands because this was a project that I did on my own and nobody else was around. The AOTA has come up with seven core values and attitudes of occupational therapy. In my service learning, I implemented many of the core values. Altruism is the unselfish concern for the welfare of others. This concept is reflected in actions and attitudes of commitment, caring, dedication, responsiveness, and understanding. I displayed this value by showing up four times for two hours, which showed my dedication. I cared about doing a good job and was responsive to the instructions I received. Equality requires that all individuals be perceived as having the same fundamental human rights and opportunities. This value is demonstrated by an attitude of fairness and impartiality. I displayed this value by handling the sensitive information fairly by not looking at their personal and private information, even though it was right there on the page. Freedom allows the individual to exercise choice and to demonstrate independence and self-direction. On my second volunteer experience, I was able to take initiative and go into the director's office to get the binder myself to get the papers to scan in. I was able to use self-direction and independence. Justice places value on the upholding of moral and legal principles such as fairness, equity, truthfulness, and objectivity. I displayed this value by not looking at the personal information of the people I was scanning in. Dignity emphasizes the importance of valuing the inherent worth and uniqueness of each person. I displayed this value by understanding the worth of each person that I scanned into the system. Truth requires that we be faithful to facts and reality. Truthfulness is demonstrated by being accountable, honest, forthright, accurate, and authentic in our attitudes and actions. I displayed this value by being faithful to show up every week for two hours. Prudence is the ability to govern and discipline oneself through the use of reason. I displayed this value, again, by using discretion at not looking at the information for the people that I was scanning in. On my last day of volunteering, I didn't have time to complete all the papers that needed to be scanned in, so the director asked me if I would mind teaching another volunteer how to finish what I started. I demonstrated how to do the process myself, and then I had her demonstrate for me, and I gave her verbal feedback. If she forgot a step, we just went over it again, and by the third time, she had it down. I also wrote down all of the steps on a piece of paper in case she forgot. She said she was confident she'd be able to finish the job. According to the Module 7 in the Psychosocial Approaches class, it states that the therapeutic use of self requires that the clinician be aware of self and the client and have the ability to guide the interaction. In addition, you need to maintain professional boundaries and ensure that the client will be protected throughout the intervention process. I used my therapeutic use of self in the service learning experience by protecting the information of all of the beneficiaries who were receiving benefits from the food pantry. I maintained professional boundaries with all of the people that I came in contact with. 
In Module 5 of the Foundations class, it says that effective communication is a vital professional skill. Messages in any format, written, spoken, or gestured, that are clear, succinct, and simply stated are less apt to be misunderstood and misinterpreted. I felt like in this service learning experience, I was a good communicator, but the director needed a little work on her communication. On the second learning experience day, I arrived, but there was nobody at the office. I waited in the parking lot for an hour, left her texts and voice messages, and walked around to other offices to find out why she wasn't there. She ended up calling me the next day, telling me that she forgot to let me know not to show up because it was her anniversary and she had been out. So I had to come an extra week and I lost out on the time it took to drive there and home and the hour that I waited, not to mention having to take off work the following unplanned week. So I was a little disappointed that she didn't use proper communication. In this service learning, the only person I needed to collaborate with was the director of the food pantry. Her name was Mary. On my first day, she explained my job duties and showed me how to perform the tasks that she requested. She was in a separate room doing her own tasks. There were times that I could not read the names on the paper because it was not legible. So at those times, I went into her office to have her look up the name under the case number so that I could spell it correctly. In Module 1, we learned how we can integrate our core values with social justice principles in our practice. Simply put, we can honor the dignity of the human person by recognizing that dignity is the foundation of a moral society. The dignity of work by believing and promoting that our economy must serve the people, not the other way around. Family, community, and participation in supporting people's right and duty to participate and seek together the common good and well-being of all. Solidarity in practicing how we are one human family, whatever our national, racial, economic, and ideological differences. Rights and responsibilities in supporting our commitment to people having a fundamental right to life, food, shelter, healthcare, education, and employment. Stewardship of the planet and working to protect the values of all people and all resources. Priority of the, for the poor and vulnerable in working to limit divisions between rich and poor and prioritizing the needs of those most at risk. And the promotion of peace in knowing that peace is the fruit of justice and is dependent upon the respect and cooperation between peoples and nations. I was able to live out social justice in this learning experience because of what this program offers to the community. The Foundry Food Pantry is honoring the people of the community by helping the family, no matter what their religion, race, or background is. Each person who receives food from the pantry deserves this help that they are receiving. Even though I wasn't directly helping with distributing food and interacting with people, I was contributing to the well-being of the people in the community by helping this outreach program. In conclusion, even though the service learning experience wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, I'm glad that I was able to help out the organization in the way that they needed help. I really wanted to have interactions with actual people who are benefiting from the program, but they had plenty of volunteers for that at the time, and they really needed someone to help them go digital. Because I have a good background in computers and technical things, the director thought that this would be the best fit. I really enjoy interacting with people, so it was a bit of a bummer for me to spend eight hours scanning in papers and not interacting with anyone, but I do feel good knowing that I helped the program go digital and it will be easier for them in the future. Their mission statement was to reflect Jesus in the community, embrace all people, and make disciples. I didn't really have an opportunity to live out their mission statement because I didn't directly interact with any people. If I had been able to work in the food pantry and interact with the community, I think I would have been able to live out this mission statement. Although this service learning wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, I did indirectly live out this mission statement because I was the person working behind the scenes to make the organization more organized.